Hi, how are you? Today you will learn how to shift your finger from one key to another key. Also, you will practice how to play piano with the left hand and forte with the right hand at the same time. Pay attention to your counting. Remember, you have three counts in each measure. So you will count one, two, three, one, two, three. You have some type notes and also connected notes to play legato. Do you think you can find the slur mark on the piece and highlight it? This piece is only eight measures long and it has pedal throughout the piece from the beginning to the end. It has three counts in each measure, one, two, three. Left hand will start playing and the right hand plays on count number two. Left hand will play on F and middle C. Finger five on F, finger one on C. And right hand will play with finger three on treble E. On the fourth space of the treble clef is treble E. In this piece, you're going to learn how to do a hand shift, which means that you're gonna have your finger three on treble E, but then on measure number six, we'll say shift finger one to F, like this. We are going to play piano soft with the left hand and right hand will play forte. Then on measure three, both hands will play soft piano. Measure five is mezzo forte for both hands. And then on measure seven and measure eight, we play piano again. As you can see, we have connected notes to play legato. See the slurs over here and over here. We're gonna have tight notes on measure two, measure four, and measure eight. Three counts because it's a dotted half note, but then they are tied to another dotted half note. So we hold one, two, three, hold and count one, two, three. The most important when highlighting our piece will be this finger one here that says shift to F. Shift finger one to F. So you can remember whenever it's time to move your hand down to treble clef F. You have your top number of the time signature. Number three, you can circle that and write your counts. One, two, three. Remember how important is writing your counts in the middle of the piece. So you can grab the counting for the bass clef notes and also for the treble clef notes. Whenever you cover your bass clef side, you still have the counting for right hand. One, two, three. If you cover the right hand side, you have the counts for the dotted half note. One, two, three. That's why it's important to write the counts in the middle of the two stabs. You can highlight also your dynamics. You have a lot of changes on the dynamics on this piece and also your legatos or slurs. Our right hand finger three will be on treble E. This is middle C. And then left hand finger five on bass clef F and middle C. Three counts. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now let's do it. Piano on the left hand and forte on the right hand. One, two, three, one, two, three. Remember the left hand will hold because it's tight note. So one, two, three and hold for three counts. One, two, three. On measure five, right hand, 
finger one will shift to F. So we bring it down to F and play legato. Legato! Both hands will connect. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we finish piano. Did you notice that measure three and four are the same as measure one and two, except that on measure three and four, both hands play piano? Did you like playing with different dynamics? And also, did you find easy to play piano with the left hand and forte with right hand? Keep practicing and see you next time.